Hi, I'm Vicki Hall. I'm the executive assistant here at Highland Park. I also teach a ladies community group on Wednesday evenings through Zoom. Today is January the 22nd, so that means we are looking today at Proverbs 22. I am looking specifically at verse 9, which says a generous person will be blessed for he shares his food with the poor. Another reference to this occurs in Proverbs 19, verse 17, which said, uh, Kindness to the poor is a loan to the Lord, and he will give a reward to the lender. And then in Luke 14, there is a parable that talks about treatment of the poor, and Jesus encourages people to, um, he says, when you're having a banquet, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. So obviously we are to be generous to the poor, we are to be kind to the poor, but what does it mean to be poor? Your thought on that probably depends on where you live in the world. What we consider poor in America might be considered rich in another country. In 2013, I had the opportunity to go to one of those countries. For the first time, I went to Haiti on a medical mission trip. I learned a couple of very valuable lessons there. First, as we were packing our rice and beans to give out at our uh, clinics and to take to our community visits, we dropped some on the floor. Um, we were careless or the bag split, but they landed on this dirty floor. And we, you know, were going to discard them. But one of the Haitian ladies working with us quickly dropped to the ground, began to pick up the beans, and then put them in the bag with our others. Uh, at first, we were like, why would she do that? And then it hit me how food was valued there because they were truly financially poor. So I began to see my own circumstances as being different. I also was reminded of the truth of being spiritually rich. We went to visit a man on one of our community visits who was 114 years old. He lived in a very simple home, concrete floors, uh, probably the size of my bathroom, um, and all of his worldly riches were displayed on one shelf there. He had a couple of cane back chairs and a table. And so he wanted us to come in and sit down and uh, he was almost blind. You could see cataracts on his eyes and uh, Someone said, how are you? And he said, I'm good. He said, as long as I have Jesus, I am blessed. So here was a man in the poorest country on the earth teaching us about being rich spiritually. He died a year or so later. Um, after his death, they learned many things about him and the background he had come from. And that truth took on new meaning because we saw what Jesus had rescued him from. That brought me to another verse that I wanted us to look at, which is Proverbs 22, verse 2. And it says, rich and poor have this in common. The Lord makes them all. There are some other translations. That's in CSB. There are other translations that refer to a rich man meeting a poor man or a rich man and a poor man coming together. So here's the reminder. We may look differently, sound differently, live differently and believe differently, but the good Lord has made us all. And there are things he made about us that are alike. We all love, we all mourn, we all rejoice. Um, there are so many things that are common, whether we are rich or poor, but the chief is that God made us all and he made us with a whole that only a savior can feel. Do you know that savior? If not, we would love to tell you more about him.